In this video, you will see how to easily excavate a platform using a typical cross-section. This will be demonstrated with the bridge design in a previous tutorial, but the exact same process will apply in case of a building or any other infrastructure. This is based on the civil engineer role and the polyhedral modeler. Let's say we want to create a platform for the first abutment of the bridge. I first create a new geometrical set named platform to store my design. Then I offset the base of the deck axis system, which represents the top of the bridge, by 5 meters toward the bottom to define the elevation of the platform to be excavated. This plane is then used to create a sketch where I first define the rough shape of my platform. I constrain the sides with reference to the X direction of the axis system by a distance of 10 meters. I hide components for better clarity. Then I constrain the other side of the platform by a distance of 10 meters also. I create perpendicularity constraint and set the length of the platform to 5 meters. I add a couple of angular constraints. I can use the symmetry option by selecting first two points and then the symmetry axis to center my segment with reference to the X axis. I will then position the platform with reference to the Y axis. The diagnostics of my constraint were deactivated, but we can see that if I reactivate it, everything turns green, meaning that my sketch is properly constrained and will only move by changing the constraints. I will now define a new typical cross section using the platform cross section command. In green, we can see the symbolic representation of my platform. I will start by defining a rough excavation profile. Constraints are automatically created. And I can adjust those here and will be able to change those again at instantiation. Same way, I will define a simple filling profile and adjust the values. My platform cross section has been added in my geometrical set, but I could save it in an object type to share it with any other designer. Before using the platform tool, I need to make sure that the terrain is oriented upward. I can do this with the invert command and pick the terrain. The white row is now pointing upward. Now, I will excavate my platform and will use the platform earthwork command. I first pick my platform sketch. Then I can either search a typical cross section from the search, if it was saved in an object type, either pick the one I just created in my spec tree. The extrapolate cross section to terrain is selected by default. In the sections menu, I can define locations where parameters such as slope, height, length of my cross section could vary. Finally, I pick the terrain to be excavated. I will automatically generate a modified terrain with excavations and fillings. Other options are available. I want also to create excavation and filling works that will provide me with the full volume information. And I do not want to keep non-connected excavation and filling works that will be small pieces of excavation or filling not relevant here. We see the sweep of the typical cross section in orange for excavation and purple for filling. I have now a civil set in my spec tree containing all the information. I can hide the platform node to hide the sweep. Then I have the excavations and filling volumes that can also be hidden to show the modified terrain. With the beam attributes, I can check the quantities that have been automatically stored in the IFC attributes. At any time, I can re-edit the platform profile to modify it, here to change the length. 
When I exit the sketch, everything is recomputed and updated. The modified terrain and the cut and fill volumes. Now, let's say that I'm getting a new version of the alignment. I can replace the version 1 with a version 2. All the beauty of using Katia here is that after the replace, everything has been updated, the bridge itself and the excavation that relates now to the new alignment. And I can still adjust it if required. This is really powerful and allows you to explore a lot of alternatives without having to recreate any data, but just updating your design with new inputs.